Okay, this is the tutorial for the HTML Basics 2, number 9 out of 16, where you are learning to change the font color. So, in the instructions, step 1 says change the heading color to green and its size to 16px. Many people, when they see heading color, they shoot right up here to the head. That is not right. In this case, hopefully you know by now, heading also means like these H1s, H2s, H3s, all the way up to H6s. The other common mistake that people are making is they look up here at the example, which is great, but this example covers an H2 heading. This one is an H1 heading. So the way that you change the heading color to green and its size to 16px would be something like this. You're going to go after your H1, hit your space bar, and then from this point forward, it's going to look something like this. So I'm just going to copy that. Style equals, and then you got your quotation mark, and then in this case it says color to green and size to 16px. So I'm going to go ahead and type in color, colon, space, green, oops, and then if I look over here, I also am changing the size, so I need to add in the rest of this, where it's the semicolon and the font size. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my semicolon, and then font hyphen size colon, and then let's see, it wants it, us to change it to 16px. So I'm going to go ahead and do 16px. And then the last thing I need to add is a quotation mark. So you can see over here, it did make that change, so I should be good to go um, with at least step one. Now, don't forget this little um, carrot this is there too, but because I went in and inserted it right after the one and before the carrot, I kind of just pushed that carrot out, so I didn't need to add that. It was already there for me, but if yours isn't there, make sure you add that. Step two says change the color of the first paragraph to violet. So now we're changing a paragraph color. And this is our first paragraph here. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert my cursor right after the P but before the caret. And I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to go ahead and start typing in style equals sign quotation mark. And this one just says change the color to violet. So we only have to do one thing. So I'm going to go ahead and type in color colon violet. And then it should just be an end quote. And there we go. The changes were made there. You have one more step here. Step three, change the color of the second paragraph to red and its font size to 10px. I'm not going to do this one for you. I'm going to let you figure it out for yourself, but just realize you're changing the color and the font size. So for this, this one that you're going to be adding here, make sure you do both of those things for that one. It will look similar, similar to this one up here where you've got both color and font size that are being changed. Okay, good luck.